We're lovers, and you're watching Henry Throne Magazine. Which album do you listen to if you feel pretty rough and crappy? <laughs> Well, I could answer that for the albums I've been listening to lately, which is maybe not, I, would, I wouldn't always listen to them when I'm feeling rough, but lately I'm listening to Y Oak, Civilian, um, and the Deptford, Deptford Goth. Goth album. I would listen to probably Blonde on Blonde by Bob Dylan, because it's one of my favorite albums of all time, and it... It's got that song, I would not feel so all alone, everybody must get stoned, and that <laughs> is really helpful sometimes to hear that, and it's just a beautiful, gorgeous, stunning album. Uh, well, I'm a bidet woman. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, well, I used to do it at the co-op, too. But now I live further away, so um, I think I just pick it up probably at New Seasons. I say most men. Golf, I guess. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I find the chaotic experience of living in a human body to be um, very a shitty experience that's also kind of um, delightful in a way, but is inspiring in my creative process. So getting my feelings hurt probably is shitty and that it's very inspiring. I tend to write a lot of songs when I feel hurt, so I would say, I mean, that's sort of vague, but um, that's my answer. Shitty experiences that make me feel creative, it's always breakups. <laughs> The first time I was ever in Berlin, we played at a, I was in a punk band at the time, we played at a squat, and it was in East Berlin. It was not Kopi, but it was near there. I don't remember what it was called. But the bathroom, I think, had been used for like 30 or 40 years and no one had ever cleaned it. And the, they had started using the bathtub as a toilet oh also. Oh it was really um, ugly. I had a really nice time once when we played at an organic farm in Missouri and the toilet was like a throne on top of the world as you like watched people like tend organic gardens and there, it was like it smelled like a cedar cedar magic and there was no fresh water involved it was just ah. like this perfect relationship to um, what happens what happens when the shit comes out On tour, getting down with groupies in the venue's toilet or elsewhere. We, we have a joke like when people are like, you didn't hook up with anyone on tour? And it's like, that's like saying, you walked to the pharmacy to buy tampons and like didn't hook up with anyone there? Like, what happened? Because we have no time. And also, I have a very serious life partner, but <laughs> you girls are single. <laughs> I, I like to know the person for at least a little while before hooking up in a toilet. Yep, same, yep. <laughs> I enjoy hooking up in the toilet with my very serious life partner. <laughs> <laughs>